The launch this month in Geneva of the annual State of Broadband report was a great success. So was the launch of the Commission's new report, Cyber Violence Against Women and Girls, a worldwide wake-up call on an issue that goes to the heart of all of our work. I believe these reports were once again a resounding success with a great media impact, share practices to an abhorring counter-violence against women online. I would like to say once again, our work is about human rights and human dignity. It is about building inclusive knowledge societies we need for the century ahead. We meet, dear commissioners, at a crucial moment, just a day after the United Nations Development, Sustainable Development Summit, when the 17 Sustainable Development Goals were adopted. The 2013 Agenda builds on the lessons of the Millennium Development Goals to chart a new course to tackle new challenges through a set of universal and transformative goals. To move forward, I see this as a core lesson of the past 15 years. The new agenda must build from the ground up, starting with the dignity, rights, and capabilities of every woman and man. In the words of the draft declaration adopted yesterday, this is an agenda of the people, by the people, and for the people. And to succeed, and this is the other lesson, the new agenda must draw on all accelerators of inclusion, all multipliers of poverty eradication and sustainability. And this is where our work is so important, so relevant. Since 2010, the Broadband Commission has been advocating a single powerful message that broadband, connectivity, new technologies are a transformative force to build inclusive, inclusive knowledge societies. And I believe, as modest as we are, that the Broadband Commission should take also a credit of passing this strong message to governments, to the civil society, to the private sector, and most importantly yesterday, to the United Nations Summit, where ICTs are already acknowledged as such a transformative force and multiplier. We have made a strong headway. Now, I believe we must transition to the new agenda. This goes already beyond mere advocacy for networks and services, something that we have done from the very beginning of our work. This is about opening new paths to create and share knowledge. This is about enhancing freedom of expression. This is about widening learning opportunities, especially for girls and women. This is about developing content that is relevant, local, multilingual. For this, we can make our messages even more powerful. We can do more through concrete initiatives, new partnerships. Access, as we have repeated many times, is essential. But this must be combined with investments in skills, in education, in relevant content. We need to invest in creating and sharing knowledge with a focus on developing countries. We need to invest in building capacity through education and training, through STEM programs, starting with girls and women. The new Sustainable Development Goals include targets that go in these directions to increase access to ICT, including universal and affordable access to the internet in developing countries, to expand education and research, to enhance the use of enabling technologies, especially for women's empowerment, to bolster national science, technology, and innovation capacities. The Broadband Commission we must seize and create new opportunities to support this new agenda, moving from advocacy to action. This is why we relaunched the Commission as the Broadband Commission for Sustainable Digital Development to sharpen action to help drive forward the new goals. I believe, dear friends, the strength of this Commission are unique 
bringing together a unique array of leaders from government, the private sector, civil society, opinion shapers. I do believe that together we can make our case to push policy support, to promote capacity building, to promote national digital agendas, to bridge digital divides, and to make what just the documentary, the short, was also saying at the last, to make the digital revolution a development revolution. <laughs>